In a world of continuous smartphone revolution, the likes of Indian companies like Reliance Jio and Micromax have decided to reintroduce feature phones and make the most of them. A number of Indians, mainly elderly people, still use feature phones and even if they will eventually upgrade to a smartphone, there is still some time while these feature phones will be sold. So here it goes. The smart feature phone, which supports 4G connectivity, has access to online media content and other bells and whistles under hood. So here I have the Geophone with me to test out all its features and tell you my opinion. Hey guys, you are watching Technic Arena, so without any further ado, let's get started. It feels stupid to describe a feature phone in 2018. But it's what it is. There is a 2.4 inch QVGO display in the front and below it has D-pad navigation keys along with numeric T9 keypad. The keys are easy to press. On the either side of the D-pad there are two function buttons and below them are call receive and disconnect buttons. You can put it in your pocket and forget that it's there. Old memories. At the upper side there is a torch light, the camera and the speaker grill are at the back. The back cover is removable and underneath you have to put the battery and the SIM card. Sadly, you can put only a Geo SIM in it. There is a headphone jack at the bottom of the device. Take a note, Apple and Google. Geophone has a 2.4 inch TFT display with 240p resolution, pretty much ok for a feature phone. The viewing angles are bad, it's not a big deal but it could have been better. Geophone runs on an operating system called KaiOS, which is based on the Firefox OS. It is smooth and features many bells and whistles. The Geophone is easy enough to use. You press down on the D-pad to enter the app drawer and navigate using the directional keys. Both function buttons perform different tasks and the call disconnect button works as the back key. Geo's apps are redesigned to work with the keyboard. Geo TV, Geo Music, Geo Chat, Geo Games, Geo Cinema, Geo Express News and MyGeo are working flawlessly. There are some nice UI elements. The Geophone lets you mark favorite apps, gives you access to contact suggestions when typing a number to call and more. There is even a quick setting screen that can be brought up by pressing the up button on the d-pad when on the home screen. The phone also gives you quick alerts notifications on the top of the screen when needed. Pressing the right button when on the home screen launches the camera, while the left button launches messages. Pressing down brings up music. There are Geo exclusive services like Geo Music, Geo TV, Geo Cinema, which are adjusted to work on Geophone's small screen. Well, no one's gonna watch movies in such small screen, but that's what it is. There is Geo Store app with many downloadable apps and basic games, but no Facebook or WhatsApp app, though Geo says they will be added in future. You can surf web through a basic browser, a nice touch. Geophone also has Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS and NFC connectivity, but hotspot is disabled. The camera is there only for the sake of having and takes basic 2MP photos and low resolution videos. Oh, there is a selfie camera too. There is a 2000mAh battery and it lasts for about 2 days on average. With 4G, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, you can't really expect it to last like typical feature phones. Geophone feels like a Nokia 3310 on steroid. It's both smart and dumb in the smartphone age. This phone serves as the link between smartphones and feature phones. Hence can be a secondary phone to have. So that's for today guys. Thanks for watching this video. If you have liked the video, smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to follow me on other social networks. I'll be back with another interesting video. Signing off. Peace.